Welcome to the State of Business on Art Television with me, Kavishka Pereira. Let's take a look at today's main stories. Prasadam meets SLFP electoral organizers. Four new envoys present credentials to President. News in detail. A meeting between President Maitri Pala Sirisena and the Sri Lanka Freedom Party electoral organizers was held at the President's house yesterday. During this meeting, the President apprised the organizers regarding the current political situation of the country as well as the reasons which led to forming the new government. All SLFP organizers pledged to extend their fullest support to the future activities of the new government. Furthermore, they are sure to actively provide their assistance for the development programs conducted under the leadership of the President. The General Secretary of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party, Professor Rohana Lakshman Piyadasa, General Secretary of UPFA, Minister Mahinda Maravira, and Minister Mahinda Samarasinghe and several senior members of the SLFP were present in this event. Four new ambassadors presented their credentials to President Maitri Pala Sirisena at the President's house in Colombo today. Elena Teples, the ambassador of the United States of America to Sri Lanka, Akira Sugiyama, the ambassador of Japan to Sri Lanka, Eric Lavertu, the ambassador of the Republic of France to Sri Lanka, and Ashraf Haidari, the ambassador of the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan, presented their credentials to President Maitri Pala Sirisena. Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Sarat Amunugama, Secretary to the President Uday R. Siniviratna, and the Secretary to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs Ravinath Aryasinghe were present on this occasion. Sri Lanka has jumped 11 places to break into the 100th position of the World Bank Ease of Doing Business Index released yesterday, which maps the investment climates of 190 countries with improvements in paying taxes, enforcing contracts and improving transparency. The World Bank annual ratings improved Sri Lanka's Ease of Doing Business score rated from 0 to 100, which rose to 61.22 from 59.42 last year. India, in 77th place in the Doing Business Rankings, is the highest ranked economy in South Asia, followed by Bhutan, 81, and Sri Lanka, 100. Afghanistan topped the list of top 10 improvers showing strong performance from South Asia. The report further states that four key reforms carried out in Sri Lanka, which included making dealing with construction permits easier, while the introduction of online systems made it easier to pay taxes, contributed towards the improvement of its ranking. Stay tuned for more news after this short commercial break. Welcome back. Speaking at a press conference organized by the UNP at Temple Trees, UNP MP Ajit P. Pereira expressed the following views regarding parliamentary traditions and its agenda. Rati Andukrama Beva Stavat, Stavara Niogolet, Sampradayat, Anuatamai, Idiri Prashna Visan Nun. Then Ye Pereda, Katawa Kanoa, O Kedo no Tamai Parliament, Abay Data, Viswasabanga, Viva de Ragane, Abita Masaki Tama Iswasabangi Viva de Ragan, him a pit on the Akarno Parliament to Gelagan, him a Parliament of Merate Ne. Parliament to Niapatre, Sadi, me, some poor Baleti Ben Katanak to Mat, Pakshanayak and Gadha Salakabala, Katanak to Matama Niapatri Hadan. A Katanak to Mahada Niapatre, Ratati been a Prashna to Galapendon, Sampra to Galapendon, Niti to Galapendon. Speaking at a press conference held today in Colombo, Assistant Secretary of the Government Medical Officers Association, Dr. Harita Aludge, stated that the GMOA hopes that the new cabinet will introduce a more stringent trade policy which safeguards the interests of the country. Speaking further, he stated that the GMOA expects the new government to make this a priority and that it is important to stop the implementation of the Singapore-Sri Lanka FTA until a stable national trade policy has been introduced. Raja Vaindari Sangame Vidyata, Viswasakan de Tamai, Api Edaki of Pratipatime Karna, Ada Dawse, Kisudu Venasakin Torova, Ada Tatwalanguiki and Karn. To Ada Dawse Api, Patin Amatiman Latek, Gatanawa, the Hemanatang, Eatam Samaga, Yam Sangma digging Saradiana the Kira Tirane Karani, E Amatiman Lesaha, May Navaraje, Gana Pratipatime Indu Tek, Enisapi, Raja Vaindari Sangame Vidyata, Api Wagaki Maksa Yutuka Makwenoa, Api Edaki Pude, Ada Tatwalangu and a day, Mokada Kianaker, Navaraje to Wagema. ජනතාවට අවධාරණය කළ කියන එක. 
ජාතික වෙළඳ ප්‍රතිපත්තියකින් තොරව මේ ජාත්‍යන්තර වෙළඳාමට ප්‍රවේශ වීම හරහා රටක් විදිහට අපිට අත්විඳින්න වෙලා තිබිච්ච අවාස සහගතත් ඒ නිසා තමයි අපි දිගටම ඉල්ලුවේ ඒ වකට රජයෙන් ජාත්‍යන්තර වෙළඳාම් පිළිබඳ සැබෑ ජාතික ප්‍රතිපත්තියක් වහාම ස්ථාපිත කරන්න ඒ සඳහා අවශ්‍ය කරන මූලික රාමුව ඒ සඳහා අවශ්‍ය කරන මූලික වැඩ පිළිවෙල ඒ සඳහා අවශ්‍ය කරන මූලික ක්‍රියාදාමය වහාම ආරම්භ කරන්න කියන කාරණය ඒතර ඒක අදලත් වලංගුයි ඒ නිසා අපි හිතනවා මේ රජය තමන්ගේ ප්‍රමුඛතා ලයිස්තුවේ උඩින්ම තියෙන කාරණයක් වෙයි රට පාවා දෙන වෙළඳ ගිවිසුම් වලට යන්න නැතුව මේ වෙළඳ ගිවිසුම් සමාලෝචනය කළා විශේෂයෙන් ජාතික ප්‍රතිපත්තියක් ඇතුව අපි වෙළඳ ගිවිසුම් වලට යනවාද නැද්ද කියන එක තීරණය කිරීම ඊටා වැදගත් වෙන්නේ අපි ඒ රජයෙන් ඉල්ලපු විදියටම මේ නව රජයෙනුත් අපි ඉල්ලනවා මේ වෙළඳ ප්‍රතිපත්තිය හදලා මේක යම් මට්ටමකින් සාවර වෙලා රටට ගැලපෙන විදිය හඳුන ගන්න තෙක් මේ සිංගප්පූරු ගිවිසුම අත්හිටි ගිවිසුම ක්‍රියාත්මක වීම වහාම අත්හිටවන්න ඕන අහෝසි කරන්න ඕන කියන කාර්ය Due to the low level atmospheric disturbance in the vicinity of Sri Lanka showery conditions are expected to continue further cloudy skies are also possible over most parts of the island showers or thunder showers will occur over most parts of the island fairly heavy showers of approximately 100 mm may occur at some places particularly in the northern north central northwestern uva and central provinces fairly heavy showers of approximately 75 mm may occur at some places elsewhere misty conditions may occur at some places in the western sabaragamu and central provinces during the morning there may be temporary localized strong winds during thunder showers the general public is kindly request to take adequate precautions to minimize damages caused by lightning activity Stay tuned for stock updates after this short commercial break. Welcome back. Trading at the Colombo Stock Exchange ended on a positive note today. The Aussie share price index gained 160.66 points to close at 6114.13 and the S&P SL20 gained 136.99 points to close at 3221.07. The turnover was 1.5 billion rupees and 53.09 million shares were traded. Next up is forex rates. That's all the news we have for today. Join us tomorrow at the same time for more of the very latest. Thank you and good night.